Hi, I'm Sony or Sony Side Up. Welcome back to another episode of What's Cooking with Zucchini Green Grocers. Today I'm gonna make a super easy pesto that you can make at home. I got all these ingredients online at Zucchini Green Grocers. All of these groceries were super fresh and delivered within two hours. So I've got my pasta going in the back. The great thing about pasta or cooking rice is that you never know how much you're gonna get. It's all cooking with the heart. So I'm not gonna try and cook for one. I'm gonna meal prep for the week and make probably enough for four or five meals. So I've got my cleaned basil here. Just gonna chop off the stems. I'm just gonna throw it into this little cup of the Nutribullet. I uh, actually got a Nutribullet two years ago and I love it because you can make sauces, you can make smoothies, pesto. I even use it to like grate cheese, all sorts of stuff. I'm a huge garlic fan. I think cooking with onions, garlic, salt, pepper, always a must. So I'm gonna throw in two cloves. I'm also gonna, I'm gonna eyeball maybe around half a lemon. I like my pesto quite zesty, but you can obviously do it to taste. There we go. And then I'm going to measure out about a quarter cup of pine nuts. You can always toast them before to get a little bit more of a nutty flavor. You can also use, substitute it for like cashew nuts, almonds, sunflower seeds, I mean, just about everything. But pine nuts are obviously the OG nut. And I really love the cheese stand at Zucchini. They always let you try a little bit as you're shopping. And they have all sorts of delicious cheese. I'm going to cut off what I'm going to imagine is about Two tablespoons. <laughs> Again, it's all about doing it to taste and cooking with your heart. Well, the first time I actually made this pesto recipe, I was doing like a pasta week cleanse on Instagram where I ate pasta only for seven days for science and for the people, obviously. And you just never realize how easy it is to make with fresh ingredients and a Nutribullet. So I'm going to blend it. <laughs> And that's how you make pesto. A little longer than a few minutes later. So here's my pasta, super hot. I'll taste it. Mm, perfectly al dente. Way too much pasta, as I knew would happen, but that's okay. One or two tablespoons is actually good for one portion of pasta. And you can keep it in the fridge for maybe like a week and then in the freezer for two or three. I'm putting in about a tablespoon or two of olive oil and I'm gonna let that heat. And just slowly put that in. That's about half of a white onion, a medium or large size white onion. I'm also gonna saute these cremony mushrooms. It's probably around 100 grams, 150 grams of these mushrooms and then two tablespoons of sun-dried tomatoes. I'm going to add a little bit of seasoning to these vegetables. I've got my tropical heat sea salt, some chili powder. I always say, if I'm not sweating, I'm not eating. I like my food really spicy. And last but not least, some freshly, cra cra hey. freshly cracked black pepper. <laughs> So you can see the onions have gotten some nice color and the mushrooms are kind of soft to the touch. I'm going to add two tablespoons of sun-dried tomatoes. Mix it all in there. I also like to keep the liquid that the sun-dried tomatoes come in because I think it's really nice to add to salad dressings or when you're cooking other meals, throw, it, throw in a little bit of it with your olive oil. It gives it a nice zest or tang. Now I'm gonna throw in a few handfuls of my pasta, and I'm gonna slowly add tablespoon by tablespoon of pesto until 
feels like it's got the right amount of sauciness. 